On ZOS, a standard queue manager takes up two address spaces. The first is called the queue manager master address space, and the second is called the channel initiator address space. Each newly configured queue manager running on ZOS should have both of these components. The master address space contains a lot of the queue manager's core functionality, whereas the channel initiator address space is what allows for a queue manager to talk to other queue managers across the network. It's the wiring. On ZOS, MQ is started up at IPL, or initial program load time, whereas each queue manager is started up by executing a JCL procedure. This procedure specifies the ZOS data sets that will be necessary, like the logs and the page sets associated with the queue manager. The channel initiator is started by executing another JCL procedure. Each queue manager is associated with its own queue manager master address space, the master address space comprises of a local queuing component, manages local subscriptions for the pub sub engine, as well as MQ API calls. The queue manager master address space interacts with connecting applications, so it understands how to implement the MQ APIs. There are a handful of API commands that a connecting application, like Kix or IMS, may want to use to connect to MQ and they're interpreted to be understandable to MQ here. The local queuing component is the part of the queue manager responsible for interacting with ZOS. Local queues take advantage of physical storage associated with ZOS. For example, buffer pools, page sets, and logs, as well as operating system primitives. The pub sub engine has components that run in the queue manager master address space and in the channel initiator, depending on where the subscribers are located. If all the subscribers are local to the queue manager, then the channel initiator components are not used. 